Hello and welcome to a box of nickels. Um, we're going to get into this box and see what we got going on. We got a circulator box here. I just cracked it open and for some reason uh, when I hit record, it wasn't recording. So I have to re-record this intro. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got a circulator box of nickels and we're going to hopefully find some awesome stuff in here. But uh, we won't know until we crack into these rolls. So, so let us get into this and see what's going on here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Roll number five, and we got our first find here. We got a 1952 out of Denver. Very cool. That's our first old nickel find of the hunt. Roll number six. We've got a gunky one with some scratches on it, but it does have an older look to it. I figured let's flip it over, and it is a 1941. 1941 out of Philly. I might take a toothpick and try to get some of that gunk off, but until then, that is a nice find. Nice 40s find. Roll number nine, and I've got a nickel here that has that older look to it. Could be wrong, could just be a worn old nickel, but let's find out. There we go, 1941. And that is a nice fun find. It's our second 41 of the hunt. Roll 13, and I've come across the 1947. Didn't notice it till I got to it. This one is from Philadelphia. Nice. That is another find up here. Third from the 40s. Very cool. To the back end of roll 13, and we have another find in this roll, 1956. No mint mark, so another Philadelphia. Nice. Two finds in this one roll. That is pretty cool. I just opened up roll 14, and I got a couple in here that are catching my eye. I took a quick look. This one, there's one here, and there's one in the back here. So let's just slide everything over a little bit. Let's just take a quick peek at these three coins. Nope, this one's not going to be one. Not a fine. 1978, just 31. This one, oh, 1956. Another 1956 out of Denver. Denver this time. Nice. 1956. And then, is it on camera? Let's move it over a little bit more. Right here. This one has a rear face cement mark. Has the older look to it. So let's see. Denver, 1961. Nope, that one does. Just barely missed the mark. So we had one find in this roll so far. I'll go through the rest of these and see if there's anything else in here. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Nice, uh, nice other find in this roll. 16, and I've got towards the end, and I come across this one that's really beat up and tore up. It is savaged. Um, but when I flipped it over, it is a 1949, so that counts as a find, even though it is nearly decimated. It is definitely, still counts as a fun. Roll number 18, we got a few here. They could be older, got that uh, older look to them. This one definitely looks older, and then these two back here kind of look older. There might be some more in here, but I figured let's take a look. Let's just cut in here and take a look and see what we got. Ooh, 1954, 1954 out of Philly, nice. Nice, let's move this down a little bit so we can see the rest of them here. Um, where were they? They were, here they are. Yeah, this one look, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we got a second one. 1940 out of Philly. Nice, it's the oldest one yet and was the one next to it. Old, kind of looks a bit more worn and newer, but let's find out, 1964. Yep, 64's had that um, slightly older, uh, the older look to it, but uh, yeah, that is not one for sure. So two finds in that roll, very cool. Roll 19, we got a rear face of mint mark here. Let's see how old this nickel is. 1954, that is a 1954 out of Denver. It's another 54 for the stacks. But on roll 19, we've come across our oldest knuckle yet, 1939. That is a Philly. I'm not seeing that famous double Monticello there. But still, 
uh, oldest Jefferson find so far. All right, I just poured out roll number 21, and I, we've got a few finds in here. Um, we have one, two here that I can see the dates on. This one might be an older find here, and this one might be an older find as well. So let's zoom in and take a look. So right here, the first one, I see we have a 1955. 1955 out of Denver. Nice. All right, this next one has an older look. Uh, it's just damaged. Just dirty and damaged. Okay. What else? Okay, uh, next right here. Let's just slide this out so we can see. I've got a 1958, it looks like. 1958 out of Denver. Nice. And I might be missing some others in some of these, but we'll get back to it. This one has that older look to it as well. That older patina look in. And it is a 1942 out of Philadelphia. That is the non-silver nickel. Um, in 1942, they made uh, regular and Silver War nickels. And you can tell the difference because the silver ones have the mint mark up above the Monticello building there. So that is three finds in this roll. Awesome. Made it to roll 28 and we've come across a 1949. Nice. This one is a Philadelphia. Very cool. It's another find for the hunt. I'm on roll 29 and as I'm working my way through right here, I flattened out some, some of the coins and I noticed I had a 1959 poking out. Is it 59, right? Yep, 59. Sometimes the 39s and 59s look very similar. That one is a Denver. Cool. It's another five for up here. That's roll number 33, and I've come across another one that has that older look on the reverse, and it has a mint mark, and it has a has been a remark. Oh, nice. So this is a San Francisco. This is a 50s or prior. Um, I believe sometime in the mid-50s, there was no San Francisco's made again until later in the 60s. So, um, I can't remember the exact date. I think it was 54, but don't quote me on that. All right, well, let's see what date we have. It's a 1940 out of San Francisco. That is cool. Yeah. Roll number 34. I've got another reface mint mark on a coin. It has an older look to it. So let's flip it over and see what date it is. It is a, it is a damaged coin. Um, hmm. It is a 19 something four. I'll take a look at that. It may, is it, uh, I don't know. There, I might not be able to get which date that is. It's going to be 54 or 64. That's the only two dates it can be. Um, because 44, there were silver and there were no 34 coins. So, um, I don't know. It kind of looks like a 54. But I'm going to put it up here and we'll just call it a find even though it is damaged. Uh, yeah, we'll just count it as a find just for the fun of it. Roll 46 and back here, second from the end, um, poured it out and I've got a 1947 here. That is a 1947 out of Philly. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're on roll 37, and I just poured it out, and I might have one here. It just have the older look. I figured let's take a look. 1946. That is a Denver. Very cool. That is another fine. All right, all right. Still on roll 37. Come across another one with the older look there, so let's see if it is a old one or not. 1947. This one is out of Philly because there is no mint mark. So, nice. That is another oldie. Roll 47. I think it's been a while since we got a find here, but I've got a 1958, it looks like. 1958 out of Philadelphia. Nice. Been a while, but there's another one for the stack. Roll 49, and we got another find here. Uh, just poured it out, and it looks like, yeah, right here, we got a 1954. This one is out of Philadelphia. There might be another one back here. Let's see, right here is what I'm seeing. Has that look? Nope, that is a 61. Well, we have one more font out up here. Boom. 
All right, well, that is it for the finds for this hunt. Um, one from the 39, 11 from the 40s, and 11 from the 50s. Um, so lots of good stuff to find. Old coins, old nickels are always fun to look at. Didn't hit a buffalo this time. Um, don't always hit buffaloes. I wish I did. Um, I've got six nicer ones to check against the album over here, plus these. And we'll see if there's any fills or upgrades there. But uh, otherwise, it's a pretty fun hunt. Let's check out those finds against the album. For the first album here, I have a few that I may or may not upgrade. Um, 1947 out of Philadelphia. This one is slightly better shape, a little more detail. Um, this one has a nice scratch on it here. Um, I'm going to consider upgrading this one, uh, but I don't want to just make little small upgrades because these holes will get worn out and stretched out and then uh, the nickels will just fall right out. I've already got one hole doing that in the second album and I don't want that to happen too more. So um, I'm going to take a good close look at that. I might upgrade that one. Next up we have a 1952 out of Denver here. Um, this one is just a bit nicer and cleaner than the one that's in there. Uh, this one might have a slightly bit more detail to it. Uh, so I'm going to consider upgrading that one as well. I think I probably will upgrade that one. And the last nickel for this album, I have a 1954 here. This one is a little bit nicer than the one that's in there. It has a bit more details on it, better surface quality. This one, I think, is enough of a step up to justify the uh, upgrade here. It does have a little bit of scratching across the surface there, unfortunately, but uh, I think that is enough to upgrade that one. So that is it for this first book. So that is all that we had for upgrades. There were no fills or upgrades for books two or three. So this uh, first album did get all three of those nickels and the holes in there are starting to get a little bit looser. So I need to uh, just be very careful about upgrading too much here. Um, so that is a concern that I've been having and it seems like it is. If I have enough nickels falling out, I might just have to replace these books. If I do, I might just start over. I don't know. We'll see how things go. All right. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the hunt. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, Feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.